Welcome, this is Brother Coasty, and you have two choices to make. You can take the blue pill, continue living your life, and forget this conversation ever happened, or you could take the red pill and step into your greatest potential. Today's conversation is all about collecting your small accomplishments. <laughs> it's all about bringing in those small wins that you get. I like to do these things, you know, authentically. I don't want to reshoot this video. It happens. We're all humans. We all make mistakes. And that is really the bread and butter. That is the, the center point of this conversation. It's all about what motivates your decisions. Wins or wins. Let's talk about it. Let's go to the board for just a second. Whenever we have decisions, there's always a motivation that goes to it, right? There's always a motivation to our decision. It's one of two choices, and I'm going to let you know right now, more often than not, we choose this route. We choose this route. Why? It's because our brain seeks to avoid pain. And when our brain seeks to avoid pain, and you make a decision, you rationalize that decision by, 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 Focusing on wins. This is the blue pill. You keep doing what you've been doing. You're going to focus on the wins. The, what do you mean by wins, Mr. Maddox? What do you mean by men's, Brother Coasty? When you made mistakes, when you learned lessons. I like to call them lessons and not just mistakes or not just issues. But whenever you make these mistakes, whenever you, you, you learned the hard way, right? We keep recalling back to that moment. We keep going back to that moment. And so when we're faced with making a decision that might be unknown, that might be bold, that may be a little scary, we tend to not do it or we don't put our full effort in because, again, we want to avoid pain. And we rationalize avoiding pain by looking at the wins. You know, whenever I did this last time, I made a mistake. You know, on the flip side, if you want to live your unlived life, if you want to Tap into your fullest potential. It's going to be very important that as you continue going through life. And even right now in this exact moment, get a sheet of paper out, pen and paper, write things down. I want you to write down your wins, all the small wins that you've accomplished, whether you lost weight, whether you uh, passed a test, whether you got faster, whether you got a new uh, personal record with, with lifting weights, whether you got a fasting record, maybe you changed diet, maybe you said no, maybe you broke up with the person, maybe you quit your job, maybe you did a whole bunch of stuff. And I can guarantee if you really sat and think about it, you have tons of wins. You just don't recall them because when it comes down to the decisions, you go back to these wins. David Goggins calls it a cookie jar. This, this marker is going out. It's a cookie jar. But it's a place where you store, it's a mental spot where you store all the times that you've accomplished something, whether it was big or small. So if you want to live your unlived life, when it comes down to making a decision, your motivation, confidence has to be your motivation. How do you build a confidence by looking at your wins? That's the red pill. That's what successful people do. They know that they're going to win because they've done it over and over and over again. The losses are now factor because they see them as lessons. And in fact, they go to these accomplishments to keep building their confidence to make a decision to move forward in life. And that's today's lesson today, family. If you want to live your unlived life, all you got to do is start collecting your accomplishments. Put that in a mental container in your mind or on paper or in a journal or online. Put it somewhere where you can always go back to, you can always refer back to it or... If you want to keep living the life that you're at right now, if you're a seven, you don't want to care, you don't care about being an eight, nine, or a ten in life, keep doing what you're doing. If you're lower, keep doing what you're doing. But if you're ready to move the needle forward, whether it's from a six to a seven, a seven to an eight, a one to a two, start looking at these accomplishments. Use that as the motivating factor. That's it for today, family. And if you're somebody who has an issue or is having a hard time moving the needle, Looking at your accomplishments, I want you to visit IALLG.com. Check out the site, a schedule call. Let's have a conversation. Talk to you soon. Peace.